Hi everyone, my name is Giovanna Proença and today we're going to talk about Lab 4 Smiley. Basically in this problem we're going to work with images and we're going to manipulate pixels and what is the goal of this problem? We're going to convert this image here, as we can see this image here, that it's all black and white and we're going to convert all the black spaces into a color that we want. In my case I choose this pink in here but you can choose any color as you want, okay? But before we start let's see what we have here in our hands. Basically if you open up in here the colorize.c we have the file where CS50 already implemented some things for us and we're gonna see how it works, all right? But the main goal for us is working in the helpers.c. So our goal is creating here this function colorize where we're going to receive the height, the width, and the image, and we have to manipulate. We have to find where the pixel is all black and change to the color that we want, all right? So let's run here the debugger in the colorize.c and then we can see what's going on, all right? So if I run here debug50, smiley, I think it's colorize, co colorize. Then we have to send the name of the file we want to read so it's a smiley.bmp and the name of the output file we're gonna store the image so here output file.bmp if I click enter in here we're going to start reading our code in our line 9 and let's understand what is on, what's going on in here as I always like to mention this code is pretty similar to what we did in the practice problems you don't need to understand exactly what's going on in each line but you need to understand the main idea okay so here our argc is equal to 3 because we're passing the name of the file and the name of the input image and where we're gonna write the output image so we're done with this if statement we're gonna skip here we're storing in a variable the memory where is allocated the uh, input image and here where we're gonna have the output image okay then we're opening up the input image and we're checking if this at least exists and we're opening up the output image and checking if it exists okay so both both files exist we have this space in memory great now we have this bitmap file header we're creating a variable called bf and basically this bitmap file header and the other struct we have in here was created by CS50 to give us the structure of the image, so the width, the height, how many pixels, and so on. So here we're just reading the both the image, all right, for of our input image. So here we're getting all the structure of our input image. Here we're checking if it's in the correct format. So basically, they like they tell us that it has to be 24-bit uncompressed MBM for 4.0. So this is some things here they are checking. And since we pass everything, we're already with the correct file format. All right, this is basically it. Here we're creating a variable called height to store the height of our image, and a variable called width to store the width of the image. Here we are locating memory for the image, so we're creating here this uh, the RGB triple. If you remember from week three, we are we have a struct, and basically CS50 create here the RGB triple struct. This RGB triple struct contains three properties: the value for blue, red, and green. So this way we can get what is the color of the image. As we saw during the lecture, RGB are the three colors: red, green, and blue. That creates a, an image for us, a color of the image for us. So we have this struct that holds the value for each of these colors, and here it's creating the place for us. We're checking if we have enough money to store our, enough memory to store our image. Here we're creating this variable padding to see if we have any padding in this image, and in our case, no. And basically, in here we are reading our file. All right, we're reading our image in our smiley.bmp, and we're storing in the image file. Okay, so if I stop running this, we have all of our image here that it's in there is stored in our image variable. Okay, that we have in here, and then we're done with our colorize function. We have to implement this colorize function, and we're gonna see how it works. Once we change the colors, we're gonna write in our output file and then we're gonna close the file and we have everything done for us. So now let's understand what we have to do in our helpers.c to create the colorize function. We're going to take this boring old black and white image and add some much needed color. Pick this image as a grid. To get to each pixel and change its color, we're going to look through every row and column of the grid. As we go, we will see the red, green, and blue RGB color values of each pixel. If they are all equals to zero, we know the pixel is black and that's when the magic happens we will change those zeros in the rgb color code to whatever color we fancy and bam our once dual image will be full of life and color so as we saw in here, we're gonna work with our grid image. We can think about the grid like this, okay? And each pixel will be one square to create this whole image. And we're gonna loop, so we're gonna check here the first one, and we're gonna check what is the color. If it is black, we're gonna change. In this case, since it's white, we're gonna remain the same. Then we're gonna loop for the next pixel, and here it's white, so we won't change anything. And then when we move to the next pixel, when we loop in here, we're gonna check that this is black, and we're gonna change to the color that we want, okay? So how can we check when it's black or not? As we saw in the animation, 
information. Basically, the color black, as we can see in here, the, the red, green, and blue, it's all values zero. If red, green, and blue is equal to zero, the three properties for RGB, this means that the color for that grid, for that pixel is exactly zero. And then we're going to change to any color that we want. Okay. And we know that if all the, this is just for an optional information, but if the colors of red, green, and blue, it's all 255, this means that it's white. We don't need to know this for this problem, only the color black. So we're going to check if their, their three values is equal to zero. So how can we do exactly what I mentioned? We're going to loop through every row. So we're going to check here every row. And then inside of the loop of the row, we're going to check the column. So this way we're going to check each particular pixel we want. So I'm going to do the following. I'm going to create a variable called W uh, row better is equal to zero. And then I'm going to create here a variable. I'm going to say that row, I want to loop from zero to row less than width. And I want to change the value of row by doing plus plus. Then I'm going to do a loop in the height. Okay. So here I'm going to call column equals to zero. Column should be, we should stop when it's less than height. And I want to change the value of column plus plus. And now we're going to do the if statement that I mentioned. So for now we're doing the loop. Now we're going to check if the value for red, green, and blue, it's equals to zero. So since we're working with a struct, I'm going to do an if statement in here saying that image on position here, the first one is high. So we're going to say column on position row. And then I want to set which property. Remember that here in our bmp.h, we have the structure of RGB triple. So I want to get, for example, the first value for RGB blue. Okay. So if the value for blue is equal to zero, now we need to use the n percent that here is an n operator. And I want our image on position column on position row. But now I want to check the green. So RGBT green should be equal to zero here. I forgot to put one equals. And now the third value we need to check is for red. So in the same pixel, we need to check if they have for red, it's equal to zero. So if these three conditions are satisfied, if the image for blue, red, and green is equal to zero, we can change for the color that we want. So I'm going to do that image on position column and on position row now will contain for RGB blue will be equal to a value that I want. You can choose any color that you want, but I will use this one in here. I want to make all pink. So for red, as we can see, the value is 255. For green is zero and for blue is 127. So I'm going to change it to 127 for blue. Okay. For image on position column on position row, I want to change now the greens. And as we can see here, green is equal to zero. Okay. And finally, I want to change the value for red. And then we're going to see the magic happen. And here, as we can see, the red is 255. So once I run this line, we're going to see the output image. So as I mentioned, once we reach here, a color that is black, because here RGB is equal to zero, we're going to change to the color that we want. Okay. So let's see this happening. If I do make colorize, let's see if we don't have any bug. All right, we have a bug in here because I think I miswrote RGB. So RG, yes, here I make it wrong. So let me fix with the correct spelling. Oops, here it should be this way. So now if I make colorize, we won't have any bug. And if I run now dot forward slash colorize smiley.bmp and the name of our output file and I click enter, we will see that the input file it's this one black and white and the output file it's now pink and white. Okay, this is pretty much what we have for this problem. Now let's run the check 50 and see if we got all green. Are you interested in learning how to code? If so, it's important to know where you're starting from. Taking a prognostic quiz can help you get a sense of your current skill level and give you a starting point for your journey. Check out our free quiz at the description at the end of the video and get your personalized study plan. So as we can see, we got our green. So this means that we are correct and we're done with this problem. Okay. If you enjoyed this content, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel. If you need help for the next problem, that is volume lab four. We have this video in our channel, so check it out. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.